Good morning. Any doubts? Yesterday we have seen uh, MVC, MVVM, and delegation. Today we see the rest of design patterns, which is uh, <coughs> singleton. Singleton is uh, very very important in every application. You use this, and uh, in interviews. It is again a thousand percent question. Basically, what is singleton? Singleton an object. How can we define this? What is singleton? Let me write it a glass of. Which produces a single object in tender application life cycle application session with inside. A class which produces single object in entire application session. In one session, like once you launch the application, at some point of time, if you create, I'll give you the exact definition. Uh, I could not recollect. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, a class which produces a single class and a single object. Single class is a, uh, a class which produces a single object in entire application session. Until you kill the application, even if you try to create multiple objects of the same class, it will not create. Let's say I'm having a uh, let uh, class car. This is the car object. You can create a multiple cars. A car equal to car. Let B car equal to car. Let C car equal to or here it is this this is a class which is allowing me to create multiple cars multiple cars but uh, this is not a singleton because it is allowing multiple uh, objects to be created i want to create a class which allows only one object to be created even if you try to create multiple times it should not allow you to create multiple objects Okay. Let me create such kind of class. User class user. Here, uh, what I do is I'll write init method. And make this init method as private. So that no one can access, even I cannot access a user equal to user, which is not allowed here. When we call this user, what happens? It calls init method, which is private. Private cannot be accessible, right? So it is not allowing you to create a even single object. The single object, what we can do is we can create from here, like how static let shared user equal to user i am creating object in the class itself 
so that when, wherever I need that object, we, have, we are creating single object, wherever you try to access user object, user class, this single object only used. How to access it to user? User and shared user. Wherever you want to access, use the user, you have to call shared user. Static property, right? Static property means only one time this will be created. Static means class, class level, right? Class level property, which is only one here. Which is only one here. Even someone comes and uh, creates B user, it is not allowed. User, which is not allowed. Even if you want to use the B user, basically, when do we use the singleton? Assume that in one application, only one user can log in at a time, right? In any application, if user is uh, logging in, only one user can log in. Once he logs out, then only the other, other user can log in. Let's say I'm having a couple of screens. Uh, screen one, I have. Screen two, I have. Screen three, I have. Screen four. There are four view controllers. Uh, there is a login view controller, login view controller, login view controller. Once user logs in, what we do is we create a singleton object like user singleton. User singleton contains uh, name of the user, age of the user, address of the user, user ID, all this he has. Once, you, once user logs in, what we do is we save all this information in singleton. So that what we can do from if the user information is required in S1, or S2, or S3, or S4, we need to ask with this singleton. User, give me something. Give me what is user name, what is user ID. Okay, all these things. He, but here, you will not create in S2, S1, you cannot create separate user. In S2, you will not create new user. S3, you will not create new user because the user is only one. There should not be multiple users. This is where exactly the singleton used. And singleton, what is the purpose of singleton is to share the data across the application. An instance which exists in the entire application lifecycle. Enter application life cycle, enter application life and application system. Okay. Singleton class, a class which produces single object in entire application life cycle. What is single object? Single an object and instance which exists in the entire application life cycle. A single object which exists in a single instance. Okay, let me check the exact definition. Singletons are objects that should only ever be created once, then shared everywhere they needed to be used. Here, if you see, shared, those will be shared among the application, across the application. There are some uh, default singletons as well. Let's see. Singleton is a design pattern. Singleton is a design pattern. This is very popular in development. Most of the developers are using this design pattern. This is very simple, common, and easy to use in our project. It initializes your class instance single time only with static property, and it will share your class instance globally. It is created only once by using static and can be accessed, can be shared across the view controllers. Oh, 10,000 person question. This is 10,000 person question. Definitely will face syntax. Syntax is very, very important. Even a private unit, right? Some people write without private. If you do not write without private, what happens is it allows you to create multiple objects. B user is also possible when you do not make this as private. In the interviews, they will ask, how do you make, make sure that only one instance can be created by using private so that the installer cannot be accessed from outside so that this is not allowed only if you want to use the application of the uh, object of the user 
only way is shared user, current user. I can use current user. There are some predefined uh, um, single cons. We see them as well. Clear? Wherever you want to modify, you can modify wherever you want to access it, you can access it, but only this way. Only this way you can access. Let us uh, write some single applica simple application here. Your text field. Let me create a login form. Let's change this color to little gray. Take me a text field. Let me keep all this in a stack view. Give the constraints 20 pixels from the top, 20 pixels, 20 pixels. This is a name, placeholder, placeholder, name, phone number, address. In code. Button make is register. And what I do is I'll just keep this. Uh, in navigation controller, embedded navigation controller. Here, what I do is I'll take one more view controller for logging in. Mm. Remove this. Everything is gone. I'm adding navigation controller. Save it. Yeah, this is plain view controller where I want is the navigation controller inside. Where I have bar button at all. It is a sign in or something, add user. This is login. Your text field. Username. Password.
login. Sign up. There are a couple of controls here, but we have not set any uh, constraints. What we can do is uh, we have something called uh, here. Add missing constraints or uh, reset to suggested constraints. If you see, if we add missing constraints, only specific view which is selected. We are selecting this. For that, it will be adding. All views in view controller add missing constraints. Okay, everything is added automatically. Everything is added automatically. Okay, we need to we can use this and you can adjust later if something is not working as expected. We can adjust that. And uh, UIV controller one is home view controller. This is home view controller. Another one is. Uh, Sign up view controller. Sign up. I'm directly giving the segue here. Control and brand up for home. What I want to, I don't want to give online. We need to test it, right? We need to validate it. We'll validate that as well. Uh, show here. Okay. Uh, Login we have. Even we can remove this once we move here. Anyways, what I want to do here <coughs> sign up view controller. Sign up view controller. Let me put a title. Sign up. Username, password, name, username, password, some three or four fields. Let's keep everything in stack view. Also put the constraints 25, 25, 25. Here, uh, placeholder, placeholder is. Um, Name, email, password, confirm password, EA button, register. We do not have any view controller uh, for these two view controllers, home and sign up. Let me create those view controllers here. Code Cottage class, home view controller. Similarly, register view controller. Let's give the names here like class names. This is a home view controller. This is register view controller. Perfect. What I want to do here is I want to save the information about the user. First thing is sign up. User needs to sign up. If you uh, user needs uh, once he is sign up register, let me make it register clearly. Register here also register. User can enter name, email ID, password, confirm password, and he can call register. What we do here once user makes registration, first thing is register. Then login, then home. Okay. When user registers, what we do is we create one class where user can save this information. Where user can 
save this information. Okay, we'll use the two singletons here. I'll tell you why the, that. This is also in the this is a database. We are going to use one custom singleton. Custom singletons, we are going to create our own singleton is one. Another one is we are going to use some existing singleton which is already there. We are just using that. That is called user defaults. One of the existing singleton is user defaults. Okay. What I want to do is when user signs up, I want to save the information here. Then user logs in, I want to check if the username and password are same, correct or not. Once that is correct, I'll take user, uh, I'll take user to home screen and display the information which is related to the related to the user, which is related to the user. I'm going to display it. Okay. I'm going to create here uh, user singleton. Let me create again class user static let current user equal to user user contains various properties let like, like whatever he has entered name he has where name where email where password these are the various things the user is having by default i'm putting nothing i can have initializer and initialize it In it. Let me put the default things for now. This is my singleton. Okay, even I can have information from get a username which returns a string written username and name. Singleton I also have have methods. Okay, and we need to make uh, the init method is private, right? So that we are making sure that no one can access from outside. Empty private. This is my user object. When user signs in here, let me get simply signs in here. What I do is I'll save this information somewhere in the database. When user logs in here, I check the database. And uh, if the email ID and password are correct, I pull the information from the database and keep in the singleton and move to the home view controller. There I display the information. Here I'm, I'm going to set our singleton. Here I'm going to display our singleton. Here I'm, I'm going to access it. Here also I'm going to access it. And here I'm going to save the information in the database. There is some small database in the iOS that is called user defaults. User defaults is a small database okay we are having separate concept of database uh pers data persistence but we are going to cover here user defaults user defaults is a kind of a database small database which stores the information in the form of uh collection key value pairs also we can save even objects you can save anything you can save actually that's a kind of key value pair you can save okay here uh, this is user yeah, I'm going to register it. For registering, we're having four text fields. I'll be our head, week, where, name, text field, email, text field. Name, email, password, text field, email, text field. Name, email, password. Confirm password text field. And uh, we need to have a method which is IB our accent. 
on register when registering what we do is the, we validate the things first thing is validation should happen once everything is perfect then we are going to save that information um information in the database what user contains user contains name username and password okay name username and password okay uh, let me create that class structure data right struct um, user db user database user he contains name uh, email password these are the three things it contains let me create a small database let string here string here string here maybe i'm making it uh, too much complex user new user equal to um you know, db user name is name text field dot text uh, email text field dot text password text field dot text there is user let me take my database how to get the database here user defaults dot standard however we are having shared instance this is user defaults is a singleton class which gives you the database here database uh, my database dot set value set value for key what is the value here new user let's try this possible uh, user user and uh, my uh, database dot synchronize to the synchronizing yeah let's try this yeah this is clear and we need to give the connection let us give the connections and see what is the error here is the error Give the connection. Confirm text field, email text field, name text field, password text field, and action is register. Action is register. Registration is done. Now, our data once the user registers. So we are validating here and saving the information of the user in database. The database name is user defaults. User default is a small database which is provided by the iOS, which is a singleton class. Wherever you want, you can access that. Wherever you want, you can access that. Now, I have saved the information here. When user logs in here, when I tries to log in here, user enters username and password. There, what we need to we need to take the information our, from the user database. Take the information from the user database and validate that. We have only one user we are going to keep here for now. And here we enter the username and password. When user taps on login, we validate the information from the database. If that is correct, use our own, our, uh, our instance, our singleton. Instance, our singleton. And this is not singleton. DB user is not singleton. This is not a single, this is a regular data structure. Here, we are going to allocate singleton so that you can access this in home view controller or any view controller wherever you want. Okay, let's do that. Login view controller here. I be okay. We to where username text field UI text field 
IB outlet, week where password text field, year text field, and we have we need a method IB apps and trunk login. In login, what we need to do, whatever information we have saved here. This sign up view controller, right? Sign up view controller. We are saving some information in the database. You need to access the same database here. You need to access the same database here and check the credentials are valid or not. The credentials are valid or not. Here, we will not create one more database here. Only database which is uh, global database, that is user defaults we need to use. Let you know, DB user, DB user equal to user defaults dot standard. This is how we can access value for key. What is the value? User is the key, right? What is the user? User is the key, which we have. Take the user and consider this as yes, db user. If it is db user, what we need to if db user dot name equal equal to text field dot text. That is username text field dot text. And we also need to check db user password. Equal to equal to password text field dot text. If these two are equal, what we need to do? These two are correct means usually existing in the database. We can allow him to log in. How we are allowing him to log in? There is a segue, right? Perform that segue so that you will move to home view controller. You will move to home view controller. This segue is move to home identifier. Move to home is a segue. Notice this. Move to home. How do you perform it? Self dot perform segue. The identifier. This is the identifier. Sender equal to nil. Also, I just want to display the information. Uh, print db user. Let's give the connections to the login screen. We are using existing singleton and our own singleton also. Here, login is an action. Touch up inside. And uh, password text field this. Username text field is this. Okay. Once uh, successful login in, we need to pull the information from the database and uh, create our own singleton. I am creating our own singleton here. And uh, what is our singleton? Let uh, current user right. Mm, let uh, user logged in user. You can name it any user that uh, current user. You got that and uh, uh, logged in user dot uh, name equal to database user dot name. Logged in user dot password equal to database user dot password logged in user dot email equal to database user dot email we have said that and uh, on home i want to display the same information i want to display the name of the user at the top okay how to do that come here we are not going to create singleton object again here we just access it singleton is object already created here when you tap it when you call current user one singleton will be created Okay, we don't need to create it again. We just need to access it. Uh, logged in user equal to uh, user dot current user dot name. Logged in user dot name. I can directly access it and put it as a title. Self dot title equal to something. This is all what we need. What we are doing here, whatever value we have set. To the singleton here, we are accessing it here. Sharing data is shared here. We are not creating current user again here. Right? Let me run and see if it works.
there is no there are no credentials register here uh DN ready dn read at gmail.com pass one two three four five six one two three four five six register yeah there is the other maybe user defaults unable to save the user object um it should be portable i guess attempt to nam drop at least object yeah, it is a direct object uh, it stores the collection i guess yeah let's rejoin we see what is 